guys good afternoon or good morning depending on where you are and then this it is a weekend and i wish you a happy weekend while you are watching this video okay so i'm going to continue the work on this website yesterday i fixed these issues uh, today i'm going to fix the display of the how do you call it the introduction of the tutorial aspect of the website kind of shortcuts okay so we're going to do it this way so in the, the this version we already have the tutorials displayed and i already have designed the layout so all i have to do is to bring the data back and fetch it because here i use pure php to display it so since i moved to tweak and slim so i'm i needed to get it adapted as well and bring it back so let's look at what we have so far in the code so if we check um, source then we go to template and then index and this okay so this is it we'll definitely come back to um, how i structure this html and the css behind it so when we go back to the front end i will explain all these parts so so far this what i had um, i used to display with php and you can see this is a very bad thing to do so not cool and <laughs> that was done though so i'm going to fix that here now i need to have a variable sent from uh, my probably my controller to the template so when i go through the, the to, uh, i'll go through the variable there and display each article and end the four inch so probably here is to check if the variable exists so what we have to do is uh, probably um, i think with tweak we have to do this um that's percentage so if I assume the tutorial, the uh, the variable is going to be called tutorials. So if tutorials, we can do all this job, and then um, I can end the if here. Okay, so end if I could add uh, probably an else. So in case there is no tutorial, we could say uh, sorry. We'll add a tag like p let me just keep it plain like that there is no tutorial for now kindly come back shortly okay so um i could have this in case there is no tutorial and then the next thing is to probably go through the tutorials each one of them so i will need the same brackets here so so that will be um so for tutorial uh, yeah for tutorial let me call it tutorial in tutorials so for tutorial in tutorials then we can go through and then end for of course that should be this so my keyboard is not really well placed so i really need to find the keys and write i'm using external keyboard right now because the, the inbuilt keyboard is broken so all right so we have this uh the, the variable will be sent the variable that will be sent will be called tutorials and then when we dispatch it we have each element as a tutorial so we are going to use this variable here and bring back every information we might need so if we try to display actually the website and see what goes on nothing nothing will happen so yes like nothing goes on but one thing i'm surprised with is uh i was not expecting to have this because i'm expecting to, oh yeah 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 of course that's normal so we have uh, there's no tutorial published right now which is correct okay uh i don't know i believe there wouldn't be any case where i won't have tutorial so i would definitely have any <laughs> at least one tutorial so this condition doesn't seem really cool or necessary 
but in case uh, we need to consider this uh, condition very seriously i would like to design something just like this too so that i can keep the layout in case there's nothing so i cannot keep the layout and but just get the message so this is for you to note in case you face such situations okay so the next thing to do is before we display the content here i really have to get uh, my controller for this my home controller connected to a database to be able to fetch so i have to get the database ready so for that i try to create the request that will copy the data from the old table which is called uh, it tutorials to the new table which is tutorials simply so i'm going to first of all create that table and then i'll do the migration of the data from the existing table to the new table i took my time to write this some few minutes ago otherwise it takes so long to get done and didn't want to waste your time on that so the next thing to do is to create a table and uh, in order to create a table i think uh, so i need to go to open my terminal cd coding cd lines course sorry so let's see the um so i think i'm in so i could use composer migration to come up with tutorial singular because i want the table to be called tutorial so i should call it tutorials and you might wonder why am i writing composer migration okay this actually set already in my package composer.json uh, because i'm using things so i've already said this shortcuts in the script so i'm using migration because i want to create a new migration so if i want to migrate i'll use the uh, migrate and roll back and then all this so these are the things i've already set here so there's no really need to waste to, to worry about it so when i do that uh, migration is going to be created here in the migrations you can see tutorials and things already gives us a method called change that method will, will be executed anytime we migrate it so the first thing is to create a variable tutorial that will hold this table and the name of the table that will be used so to the table will be tutorial the table will be tutorial not tutorials tutorial not tutorials because um eloquent um, that i'm going to use will consider that the tip no instead of, yeah it should be tutorials that's the table so the eloquent model will be tutorial so that's it so once we have the variable tutorial we can now start adding columns to it and this is going to be very 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 long so i should i might probably cut that part and not waste too much time yes 56 rows entered right now so 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 i think if you check cover yeah everything matches okay hmm. i have some numbers yeah forum id yeah seems to be working fine forgot i didn't consider is to add the number of views so i think um to add the number of views let me see where we are we having the views from the tutorials okay i think this these are the views for the tutorials wow that was really really ma a messy job so can see we have tutorials with 200 and something views mm. okay possible so 16,000 one one that's strange that's strange here mm. number of visits 
okay so i need to transfer this to the next table so uh, let me do i'm going to add a new column to this uh, tutorials table uh, we're going to do this um, um so maybe here just under here we add a new column so let me do create a new column the views and then I uh, can shift it up yeah so up up and I can persist it so the views can be null so by default it remains that way so if I do it that way, I could just uh, okay, 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 okay. So I need to copy. I have this script which was uh, so yes. Okay, by now we should have something done. Yes. We visit. We see the data. We check the end. Yes, we have the views all right so we you can see how hard it is to do this type data migration it took me about an hour now to get this done which is really really tough and hard to do so so the more the, the more we go i'll try to avoid showing you guys all these steps so that we gain some time so now once we have the data set let me bring this back because when I'm creating the uh, when I'm recreating the migration, I should be able to have this condition fulfilled. And then um, what else? The slug should be true. No, 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 no. Should be. I think. Uh, yeah. Let me keep it like that for now. Okay. Let me just forget this migration. We have our data set, so <clears throat> it is time now to try to bring the data on. So the next thing is to create a model. So we go back to source um, and we go to uh, app, then models. And we need to create a new model, which is uh, tutorial. So let me just save this as tutorial. And this is the difference here. The model, the eloquent model should be a singular form and then the table should be the plural form. So for tutorial and we need this all oh, this namespace yeah um, no I don't need this I think uh, I should I wanted to use this then and it was this time for me to eliminate it here as well okay it's not here oh, how come it got inserted there okay so it should be here yep so tutorials model no field guarded so function we can get rid of all those ones so, so far the first method we might need is to fetch uh, a few tutorials and that's just like we had in the method uh, the blog here like this type of method here which is getting post so instead of post we should rather call it articles so let me make it uh, public static function articles and then we take as parameter so the number so we limit we want and we keep the default for now for eight at eight and then the order of the order in which it should be fetched keep it descendant as well so that we have the latest published first and what this will do is to return self self and then um, we make some eloquent query here so what we want is um, so we want a uh, tick should I say tick limit and 
then um, order by order then we get it all right so this is what we we're supposed to have and then uh, in the controllers which is the actions here the home action I'm supposed to create a new variable because just we are still in on the same uh, view so I need a new variable which will be so instead of me to call this articles let me call it posts just like the posts as in the method so I will go back in the view and instead of going through the post so that should be feature news so instead of articles it should be posts all right or should I get a better name like our uh, news uh, doesn't sound like news yeah uh, updates anyway let me keep it as post now just to have the difference so post and post yeah it matches me well so if you go back on um, to the home controller we have articles for the tutorial then we go for tutorial model tutorial model dot get articles so that we can have one as article so articles and all the data will be injected so we have articles we go back to the view so feature tutorials so from instead of tutorials articles so for article in articles we do this so basically this should be fine so you can see that the hardest part is to get the data set so if you check um, non scores yeah we have an error action tutorial does not exist app action tutorial does not exist that's in home controller okay uh, it's normal I think uh, I need to bring the model in inside this controller I can't just use the model tutorial without importing it because they are not in the same namespace so this makes sense yeah here we get another error which says uh, column not found unknown column descendant all right order close or oh, from tutorials order by okay so order by we said here we said order by order oh wait how is it formulating okay order by yeah wow, 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 wow. so i'm supposed to give the field it should use to order the the data so so that should be created at and then it should order the created at uh, now we have a different thing select all from tutorials order by created at didn't I write created at oh okay okay so now we have something coming up and here you can see obviously the problem is the template rendering so to go back to our template uh, it becomes sweeter here so so here we had the star no 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 that's let me see these are the posts so i think this is going to be the same star so let me try to copy this here hmm. okay so we come here we go to ahref The URL part, I'm going to leave it for now so that we just have to keep this like that's no path anymore. And this goes to the illustration, and this is going to be an article. Let me check that out. All right, I got it right. So I got it right. So the next thing is to fix the title. I'll forget the URLs, but nonetheless, let me remove these ones. Let me remove those ones. 
okay and then let me keep the let me write the title here that's so So let me check what that gives okay all right we have our title so the next thing is uh, surely to link it to the members table and have the author's name just like we we did for the uh, the blog post and also uh, I think we have the category here so we also have to, to link it create kind of the relationship between the the category table and the members table i think that's the most important part here so i think there's a character add being added there so we can get rid of it okay so i think uh, basically this one of the struggles i have to go through to get this uh, something is going on something is going on i broke something i broke something i broke something um, this from this one good so basically that is it and the, the layout is broken here again because of these parts so to confirm this right let me just try to eliminate it just wait 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 Okay, this is it here. So if I try to clear all this, mm -mm. just clear up to here. Hmm. So, okay. Anyway, this is our job to fix in the front end part. So, if you are still there up to now, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.